Hey guys, uh, today this video I'm going to explain you about the surface tension that uh, we had seen in the liquid. Yes, uh, one by one, I'm going to dip this uh, paper pins inside this liquid and uh, you people have to count how many uh, U pins will be dipped inside before the water gets overflown. So let's start with this experiment and after that we will be, uh, uh, we will be having a close look on the surface of water. Uh, uh, which will be like a bulgy in shape that is a clear explanation of the surface tension okay then let's start so time for countdown one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21 should be very careful and it's 30 now it's time to balance some pin and the stretched membrane of water should withstand the weight of this pin yes this is the beauty of surface tension Now uh, let us understand the science behind it. Consider this glass as we had seen in our experiment. Now water molecules are shown by these circles. Now we know that water molecules are polar molecules so each molecules are attracted by the other four molecules and the force of attraction can be given like this. For example consider uh, this molecule. This molecule is having force from here which is balanced by this. This force is balanced by this hence net force acting on this molecule is zero so it is free to move inside a beaker these molecules can go anywhere inside a beaker now consider these molecules which are at the walls so these molecules are not having any forces from here so net force acting on them they can be able to move up or down but the net force acting in this horizontal direction is like this so they will stick to the wall of container and last phase of our molecules are the top molecules in which we are interested and the surface tension is a result of these line of molecules which are on the surface of water now the net force acting on them are like this they are having attractive forces they are having attractive forces they are having attractive forces like this now what happens if I am placing pins in it the inside volume of water increases because of which 
these molecules were initially attracted by downward molecules also so they are not able to move upward because these molecules are stretching them downward but because of the increased volume inside they are not having space to come downward so they will get stressed with each other as they are attracted by the side molecules and this line of action which we were having this line of action is our surface line which we can give like this and force per unit length of this membrane or we can say our imaginary line is termed as surface tension t now when we place this pin on this stretched membrane it is gonna lie easily on the surface and the reason is surface tension hope you have got the clear explanation of the surface tension and for more such videos you can share and subscribe our channel thank you